Yo, 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 it's Sengeku, and today we're talking about Air PSX and what it does on the PS5. So there's a couple things that are on my PS5 that are new, and if you didn't see my last video and you haven't jailbroken your 6.50 PlayStation, please give my last video a watch. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so close to 500. I would love to get there. And I don't see anyone else releasing the videos this fast, so any help on the channel means a lot. So what does Air PSX do? There's this issue on the PS5 where if you have more than 14 games, your FG games won't load. So for instance, if you look at the games I have here, and we hop over to my game library, I have more games. So we're going to find one that's not on here. We'll do... Look like Ghostwire Tokyo wasn't on there. Yeah, Ghostwire Tokyo isn't on here. As you can see, we can't launch it. There's no way to launch the game. So Air PSX is going to solve this. The first thing you're going to need, I'll leave everything in the, the description down below. You're going to need the internet browser and an FTP to transfer the file. So the link for the internet browser is going to be a PKG. All you do is put that on a USB, the root of a USB. And then you're going to go to your debug settings. You're going to go into your package installer. And then you're going to install the internet browser PKG. So once you have the internet browser, that's step one. Then the next thing we're going to do is transfer the Air PSX plugin to our PS5. So I'm going to hop over to the PC and we're going to load up FileZilla. And all you need to do is type in the host, which is the IP to your PlayStation 5, and then you need to type in port number 1337, and then you'll have access to your PS5 files wirelessly. So you're going to hop in to the data folder, and then you're going to hop into ETA HIN, and you're going to hop into plugins. And then inside this plugin, I'll, like I said, I'll leave it in the link in the description, and you're just going to add the Air PSX plugin. So once we have that, we're good to go. So we're going to load up the PS5, and I'm going to show you how this fixes some things. First things first, hop into your settings. We're going to go to our debug settings, go to plugins, and you should see the new plugin that we just installed right here. And you just want to enable that. And then you can hop into plugin startup menu. This one's not working for me, so I'm gonna flick that off. You wanna hop into plugin startup menu, and you can also turn this on. Now, when you come back into this menu, this will be turned back off, and that's fine. Because if you check your FileZilla folder where we put the plugin, I'll show you real quick. Right here, it creates an Air PSX plugin auto start. So it will switch off in the console, but don't worry about that because it'll still auto start. You just need it turned on in the plugins. Now that that's turned on the plugins, let's see what's next. Now, to load your FG games, we're going to use Air PSX on the PS5 first, and then I'll show you it on the PC. So the first thing we're going to do is load up our internet browser. Now, I already have my IP set as a favorite. So all you need to do is type in your IP address and then the port number. So you're going to do semicolon and then 1214 after your IP. And that's going to be the web address. So once you have your IP address to the PS5 and the port number 1214, 
we're going to go to that website on our PlayStation. And now you have access to all your system files and everything on the PS5 and you can boot applications. So we're going to load up the applications and these are all the games on my PS5. So over yours won't be as laggy because you probably don't have as many games. And this is over, you know, air PSX wirelessly, but for all the games, it loads pretty flawless. So these are all of our FG games and they'll always be at the bottom. So to boot a game that you don't have, you know, on the home screen, let's just say it was Ghostwire, the one we didn't have. We're going to click this and you're going to run the application. Now, when you run the application, you want to wait until it loads. And on the right, you'll see a timer start. So it says application started. And then over here it says uptime. And then it tells you how long you've been in the app. So now we can safely exit this. And we're running the game. You'll still get that pop up. But like I said, the game works fine. We're still loading. We're still loading in. So we're going to go over to items flow and close the game. And bada bing, now you're back in items flow with all your games. So let's say you wanted to boot another game real fast. Let's say you have all your backed up PS5 games on a USB or a hard drive. We're going to hop in here. And we're going to find a new game I don't have. So I'm going to go over to my USB. And we're going to add Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. So I'm going to select this folder. I have not tested this game. So this is we're running this together. I'm going to hit launch. It's going to make the app and now you're going to see what i mean so as you can see we cannot boot devil may cry 5. it's going to come in this folder and right here's devil may cry 5. so when you go to boot it there's no way to boot it so we're going to hop back into air psx and load up our internet browser and over here on the right once you load it once you can add it as a favorite by clicking the star so we're going to load up our Air PSX. We're going to go to Applications. We're going to scroll all the way down. And we're going to find that new game we added. Which was Devil May Cry 5. Sorry about all the games. It takes a second. And then we should have Devil May Cry 5 right here. Now you don't have to wait for all the art to load or catch up. You just click X. And then you're going to run the application. And like I said, you want to wait. I've never ran this game before, so. Let's see if we get the timer. There's the timer. Now we should be able to safely exit this. And we're in Devil May Cry 5. So this is a way to play unlimited backups and to not deal with that error with items flow right now on 6.50 PlayStations. And if you didn't see my last video on how to get the beta running, please check out the last video. And I'll show you the system settings as well. We're able to system, console information, and we have ETA hidden beta 2.0 release running now. So we got rid of that glitch that we had in the first video. So if you have any questions or comments please let me know and i'll show you one more thing guys so let's say we have it running on the ps5 let's say you want to do it from your pc so you can also boot ps5 games from your pc so we're going to go to that same url but on our pc right here and we'll refresh since we added some games and then right here you can go to applications and then we're going to go, and it's so much faster on, look at all my games. It's so much faster on PC. So if you have a lot of games, you know, this just feels nicer. But Air PSX on PS5 works just fine. So we're going to click Devil May Cry, and then we're going to run it again. And it's going to be the same thing, but on PC. So we're going to load up the PS5. 
and bada bing, we're back in Double May Cry 5. So we'll make a save page real fast so this doesn't, you know, corrupt or anything. And like I said, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, we're bringing the videos pretty early. If you didn't see the last video, like I said, please like it. But this is Air PSX and how to get any FG game running on your PS5. And enjoy your unlimited backups. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.